Welcome to this week's Lead with Purpose Friday Digest. Today, I wanted to talk about feedback, both giving and getting feedback. But what I really want to talk about today is getting feedback and really making it integral into you becoming a better leader within your organization. When we interview companies today, one of the things that we find that regularly shows up, we ask people, how do you know when you're doing a good job? People say it's the absence of getting yelled at. So no comment is not good feedback at all. And I think if you want to grow your organization into a high performance organization, you have to learn how to give and get feedback. But today I wanted to talk about getting feedback. And here are some clues that you might want to uh, bring to bear on when you get feedback so that it improves the overall results that you see and you can integrate it into what you want to become as a leader. First of all, you need to listen. Don't let this bother you. Listen and hear the entire feedback. So often we have a tendency to race our brain to solution of some kind. I'll do this if he says that or she says that. And I don't think that's an effective way to take feedback. So number one is to listen. Number two is that you have to assume positive intent. In other words, the giver of the feedback is giving you the feedback with the right heart. Uh, you have to assume that their intent is positive. This isn't meant to break you down, to make you feel bad. It hopefully is given with the intent to help build you up and help you achieve better results and be a better leader within the organization. The third thing that I think is real critical is don't be defensive. It's easy to become defensive when somebody pokes at you a little bit. And I think if you just be calm and listen to what the individual has to say, that defensiveness will go away. The other things that I think are important is, one is you have to ask for it. In other words, many times people are afraid to give you feedback, especially in this economic environment. Many of the leaders I talk to don't give candid feedback because they're afraid that somebody will quit. And if you're a good employee, you still want candid feedback. Most of the people that I work with crave candid feedback. And the last thing that I think is really important is act on it. In other words, what are the learnings that you can take away from being uh, offered feedback that is really constructive for you? Learn from it and become better. So look below. I always look for things that'll help you become a better and more effective leader. Thank you. 